Okay, so here is this example, and if I press up, the up key, you can see that the, um, the health part goes down. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to create this um, health bar. Uh, this actually was requested by somebody yesterday on the comments. So guys, this is probably a good time to uh, leave a like and leave a comment. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to use this file here, but you don't have to use this file. You can use um, anything you like. This is just a regular room. And um, you can see that these are just pictures. These are just um, sprites I found on the internet. They have nothing to do with the health part yet. It's just that's just a health part. Okay, so let me show you how I did that. Okay, so to begin with, let's create an object. And um let's call it anything. Let's call it just um I'm gonna call it uh BB just because we can. So let's draw something. Draw. We're going to draw um, a health bar. And uh, you can see that um, in drag and drop you can find a health bar object already. Where is it? There you go. You can draw text. You can draw sprites. You can draw anything here. Including a health bar. Let's drag the health bar here. And um, if you run this now, you can see that uh, nothing happens. This is the health bar we already had there. So what you need to do is uh, go to your room, drag the object, make this bigger just because we can. And now if you run this, you can see, okay, you can see nothing still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's double click on this again. And um, let's change these values here. Let me change the position of the health bar. Uh, first to relative to itself. Let's change the background to red. Change the outline to black. Main color. Let's make it yellow. And the maximum color, um, set it to yellow as well. This sometimes I like to set it to um, a little bit um, darker, or maybe maybe a little orange. There you go. Now for the size, we want this to be uh, maybe around 250. Now for the height, we want this to be around 40. Now this should be called height and um, width, but it's called right and bottom. And I guess that's in case you wanted to have a, a vertical health part. Now if you press up, this is the only one that is going to go down. Let's make it uh, 30. See what it looks like. Much better. Let me make this a little higher here. Maybe enable the grid so that way they're in the same line there. Now to decrease the health part we need a variable. Okay, so let's create a variable. Create variable. Let's make this a uh, 100. And let's call this a uh, health bar. We can call it uh, what can we call it? Uh? Let's call this one uh, WW. Just to make it very obvious. Back to our object on the draw. Let's set the uh, health bar equals our um, variable. So um, the object is called BB WW. That's the um, variable name. I think it works without targeting the object. Um, we're going to try it out in a second. Okay. So now if we press a key. Say the down key. We can uh, decrease that variable. Go uh, www www minus one. Let's 
Okay, press down. And that works right away. So let me see if it works without targeting the um, um, the object. Take out the object name. Just curious. And it works. Now, if we were to solve the object, you will have to uh, specify the object name. Like if you wanted to um, decrease it from, say, from this object. Upon pressing, uh, say, um, spacebar, we wanted to decrease um, WW, WW minus 1. Now if I press now if I press spacebar I get an error message. So we have to target um, the object which is a BB and the variable is inside BB. Okay. This kind of reminds me of the old flash. There we go. I'm pressing spacebar, you can hear my Spacebar sounds horrible, and that's from jumping too much in a Fortnite. There we go. Now I press um, down. That works the same way too. The up key decreases the uh, other health bar. Now, if you were making a fighting game or anything, um, you will have to decrease the uh, health using collisions and animation all right guys leave a like down below and uh, comment say anything say potatoes or something all right guys i'll see you in the next video bye now yeah guys don't forget to check out uh, spark tube spark tube you can upload your videos and subscribe to each other's channels yeah networks usually charge you for this kind of service but you can find it for free at SparkTube. Yeah, so this is SparkTube and upload your videos.
Oh, <laughs> my